Bahana, we will build it. Olam Chasari Bahana, we will build this world from love. Bahana, we will build it. Good morning and welcome to today's Elul Soul Brew. Curated voices from around the world bringing you on a journey through introspection and inspiration leading up to the high holidays. I'm Rabbi Bluth, host and producer of The Soul Brews with the Beth Zedek Center for Spiritual Wellbeing. It's been wonderful so far. We've met every morning at 9 a.m. starting Rosh Chodesh Elul, and we will continue to get beauty, inspiration, art, and practice all the way up until Yom Kippur. We'd love to hear from you, so please comment, in the comment section below using the hashtag BTSoulBrew. So today we're gonna go, we're gonna hop over to the West Coast to hear from Ariella Sharon Cantor. Ariella is a body worker and an herbalist who's passionate about creating safe spaces to talk about women's health and learning about sustainable, traditional, and alternative ways to care for our bodies and spirits. During the day, we can find her making herbal medicines in her home apothecary and playing with her baby girl in the community garden or teaching and learning Torah with friends. Ariella, we're excited to see what you've got brewing today. I think you're the most literal soul brew that we have. So we'll start with the morning question leading up to the high holidays. What's your soul brewing? Good morning, everyone. Leading up to the high holidays, my soul is brewing some herbal tea. My name is Ariella Sharon Yomtovian, and I am an herbalist and a body worker. And I love creating herbal products that are connected to Jewish holidays and also herbal products for women and their babies. So today we are going to learn a little bit about the tea that I have specifically created for the month of Elul. Now, Elul is a time when we are getting ready to celebrate the high holidays, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur and Sukkot. It's a time to reflect on how the year has gone, things that I'm maybe not so proud of, things that I'm very proud of, people I may want to ask forgiveness. It's a time of self-reflection, time to maybe sit and meditate in the morning and think about, hmm, what's going on inside of me and how can I better myself for the coming year? And so the tea that I've created takes that into account. What can I drink and put into my body to help me meditate and reflect. I have to be in a good headspace. I have to be in touch with my heart. I have to be able to breathe and speak freely, be okay with taking up space. And I have to feel calm. So these are the herbs that I've chosen for the tea. Let's start with um, the, the mind feeling clear in the mind. So there are two herbs that I have here. One is ginkgo, great for the mind. It's a very, very, very old plant that in China is actually considered to be very holy. And it's because it does wonders for the mind and it can make you have clarity about things you haven't had clarity about in years. Um, it's also great for longevity because as we know, um, as we age, our brains can fail us. And so tonifying them is very, very important to, to living a good life. So we have some ginkgo right over here. Another wonderful herb for, um, the, for mental health and the brain is go to cola. Um, a beautiful plant that is a, a, one of the most important in Ayurvedic or Indian medicine. Also for longevity and memory and kind of moistening our brains. You know, our brains don't really get to exercise or get massaged. And so these herbs are what feeds our brain um, the medicine, the tonic that uh, it needs to be able to function well as we age. So those are our two brain 
curves. Now for our breath for feeling open in our chest so we can blow that shofar and scream, I'm sorry, and do whatever it is we need to do with our vocals, we have mullen. Mullen is so soft and fuzzy, it feels like a teddy bear. Um, I even have the actual leaf here with me because they grow all over Berkeley right now. This fuzzy long leaf that you could just rub and give yourself a nice massage with. And it's wonderful for the lungs. Obviously, this is important for Elul. It's also a great COVID remedy, um, cough remedy. Um, but it will definitely help us clear and moisten uh, our lungs. Then we have um, juniper. If you like gin, you like juniper. Juniper is often taken just it's this berry and you can just put it in your mouth and chew on it and it just will refresh you. It's like a shower for your body. And this is the power of juniper. It's, it's clearing, it's cleansing. You know, if you take a test or if you're studying and then you have a date or if you are visiting a friend who's ill and then you're going to a birthday party, sometimes it can be helpful to clear the palate. And this is what juniper helps with, just to clear us, to wash it out. So we include that in our Elul blend so that every morning, forget about what happened yesterday. Forget about what happened a week ago. There's no use in holding grudges. Life is so short. So we take this juniper berry, cleanse us, and we enter into the new day. And then we have our nervous system, which of course, it's important to calm it when we pray, when we're in conversation with God, when we're in conversation with our friends, when we're in conversation with ourselves. And a wonderful herb for that is chamomile. Um, such a beautiful, gentle herb to give to yourself when you're, whenever you're feeling nervous, anxious, um, will calm an upset stomach, which is often associated with those feelings. And last but not least, we have lemon thyme which is um, a type of thyme. And this, this herb I chose to put in because it's uplifting. So sometimes self-reflection can be hard and scary. It can make us feel bad about ourselves. And this herb is just a reminder that you're awesome. You're great. People make mistakes. Always look for the bit of good. Um, even in Elul, even when you're standing in front of God, asking for forgiveness for the things that you've done, remember that you're good. And we, we sometimes make mistakes. So in order to make the tea, uh, you just add one teaspoon of each of these herbs. So a little bit of the ginkgo, a teaspoon of the go-to cola, a teaspoon of the mullen, a teaspoon of the juniper berries, a teaspoon of the chamomile and a teaspoon of the lemon thyme. So just one to one to one to one to one. And you can see the juniper is very strong. So if there was any herb I would add less of, it would be the juniper. So this is, this is a French press. So I put one teaspoon of each into a French press. You can also do it in a jar. You can do it in, um, a mug. None of these herbs are dangerous to swallow. So if you care to swallow them, that's great. The French press is a wonderful way to make it because you can separate the herb from the liquid. So this is about a cup. So now I'll just take some hot water, pour it over my herbs. Maybe you can have a nice meditation while you're doing this. And I'll take this cover for the French press and let it sit for about, I'd say 10 minutes. And like I said, all that's important here, it's not whether you have a French press or a cup or a tea bag, it's that it tastes good to you and all of these herbs are pretty tasty. So feel, you can just put a pinch of each herb into a tea bag or like I said, a teaspoon um, in a cup. 
So that is my, my tea for you. And I just want to invite you all to make either this tea or another tea. It can be a tea that you're inspired by because the plants are growing in your front yard. It could be a tea that your grandmother used to give to you as a kid. But try using tea um, to tap into a meditative and reflective state before these um, chagim. And uh, I wish you happy, happy chagim, happy Elul. If you want to be in touch with me, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, you can look up my name, Ariella Sharon. And you can also visit my website at www.ariellasharon.org. Thank you. Bye. We will build this world from love.